Hi, so we are here at the International Fresh Produce Conference and we are chatting to Viam Haddad from ZZ2. He's involved with sustainability at ZZ2. Hi Viam, nice to meet you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do, please? Thanks. It's wonderful to be here at the IFPA. Um, I'm trained as an ecologist and I work with ZZ2, which is a big farming company in South Africa. Um, and it's uh, really exciting stuff that, uh, that we get to do and share with other professionals in the um, fresh produce industry at a platform like this uh, IFPA conference. A lot of the topics uh, being discussed here are very relevant um, to us as farmers, uh, where we integrate with natural ecosystems, because farming is uh, very close to nature. And at ZZ2, we, we farm according to the uh, nature farming principles, or we call it Natir Boudere, um, which uh, tries to take lessons or insights from natural ecosystems and apply them to business ecosystems. Um, and it's very exciting to see that uh, the whole fresh produce industry is starting to think in that direction as well, and that we can create um, a real living sustainable uh, business ecosystem that's integrated with natural ecosystems. Okay, that's very interesting. What's quite special about ZZ2 is that they started this proactively. Um, Natir Budare is something that I understand was developed entirely by ZZ2 and um, they've implemented this long before it became a buzzword, the whole um, regenerative and sustainability. It's been going for quite a long time, so that's quite interesting to know. Yes, indeed. Uh, so it was a journey of discovery that ZZ2 embarked on in the late 90s, early 2000s. And uh, that journey continues. And uh, I think there's a lot of other people that's on that journey as well now. And it's an exciting journey. Um, you know, as, uh, as our CEO was talking earlier this morning, uh, it started out with trying to be fully organic. And then finding out that it's not something you can just do overnight like that. And uh, step by step trying to find out what is what is the real rational meaningful things for us as tomato and avocado farmers in South Africa uh, you know if you think of ecosystems a desert ecosystem and a tropical rainforest ecosystem it doesn't look the same or operate in the same way but if you drill down to the core principles it's the same so you know we kind of found our own way to do it and that journey continues and it's, uh, it's complex because there's many factors that, uh, that, that come into that. And uh, just as you think you've got the main factor, something else happens and you see there's interrelationships. Um, so it's, uh, it's complex and it's fun and we don't have the answer yet, but we're, we're working towards it. Wonderful. And it's nice to know that you started the journey quite a long time ago, long before it was mainstream. It was very much... Um, from the perspective of commercial agriculture, it was like, what are they doing? And now it's been brought right to the center and you guys have been doing it for a long time. So I would imagine that that places you very well um, from a marketing perspective that you guys, you're not just doing this for window dressing. You've actually been doing it for a long time and you've implemented it for more than a decade. So I would imagine that that puts you in a very good um, light, not just from an environmental perspective, but at the end of the day, also the bottom line yes it uh, it comes from a place of seeking authentic value it's not uh, earlier this morning we had a, a conversation with another guy uh, who was saying a lot of these um, ESG things is like putting li lipstick on a very ugly pig now you know this is trying to to breed the best looking pig uh, maybe that's not the best uh, <laughs> comparison to use, but it comes from a place, or at least, the, you know, ZZ2 started this journey from a point of view of seeking authentic value and giving a really good, strong, authentic value proposition to our, to our customers and our clients. And there's a lot of people that took part of the, in, in that journey, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a monolithic thing. Yeah, it's, an, it's incredible. And that you guys have been doing this and ZZ2 really... Uh, we can take our hat off to your company for, for doing this and actually being pioneers in this. So thanks very much for chatting to us. Thank you. And I must say, it's, uh, we can't do it alone. Inspiring platforms like the IFPA is what gives us the energy and, uh, and inspiration to carry on. Thanks very much. Thank you. Great stuff.